It's the morning of day two. They say it's going to rain, but as the sun crested the horizon to burn off the sparkling morning mist, we enjoyed a peaceful morning fly fishing on the Loman River. Before too long, Jimmy hooked a hungry speckled sea trout on its way up the river to spawn, just like the Atlantic salmon. Max was there to give him a hand. Internet, Max. Hey, hey. Hey. Hey, buddy, rain on the horizon, we hauled on our rain gear. But Jimmy didn't want to give up. He was working on a nice one, a nice Atlantic salmon. But he didn't get it, and we gotta go and take a break. The rains passed, it was my turn to catch one. So there's a moral to every story. Day three and wildlife really started to appear. Besides the beaver, there were really strange creatures appearing from the Newfoundland forests. Northern New Brunswick on the Miramichi and the rest of Gush and then the Pisiguit. The salmon do the same thing, they're the exact same species. And uh, they sometimes hit dam areas or locks or what have you, and uh, basically they spawn in the river. We got a moose behind us. Now we're gonna hook a salmon right here in front of this booth, in front of the beaver dam, we'll be cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! And Jimmy just missed a big one. <laughs> Get off me, Jim! <laughs> My name is Glenn Ferguson, and we've been up here for a few days. We're filming a, a television show, a fishing show called The Fishing Musician. And in putting together the, the team, our first choice, we wanted to come to Grossmore National Park in this area. Put a big hand together for the organizers here, Clayton and Doris Lang, for having us here. This is an incredible spot. Anyway, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jimmy Flynn. Oh, it's nice to be here. What a wonderful spot. We're having a great time. We stopped in St. John's on the way down. What a freaking party town that is. Uh -oh. <laughs> Three o'clock in the morning, this woman was beating them. Hotel room door, beating them my door, beating them my door. I finally had to get up and let her out. <laughs> <laughs> you 
And what a time we had with the Jimmy Flynn show in Newfoundland. Until Aunt Sophie arrived to preside over the official screeching of the entire cast and crew. Kiss the cod we did, and kissed Aunt Sophie too, in front of a couple of hundred Newfoundlanders. And I think she likes to share body fluids. We did the dance and then had that famous shot of Newfoundland screech. And we were officially Newfoundland. We finished the last evening on our trip to Newfoundland, sitting around the campfire. My old guitar playing buddy Brian Kenny and I jammed while the rest of the crew shared memories they would take home of the great fishing on Loman River. And the incredible natural beauty of Newfoundland, wherever you went and everywhere you looked. It's humbling to see how the landscape at Gros Morne tells the amazing geological history of the Earth's shifting continents and makes this part of Newfoundland a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a place to which we will all return. Thank mm -hmm. you.